Kergel is a German manufacturer of tipper trailers and heavy transport models have commissioned this pair of two axle tipper trailer models from Conrad. Model 72126 has a Mercedes-Benz tractor unit and model 71126 has an MAN tractor unit. Apart from that the models are the same and they are in the colours of Keybag, a Swiss company. The packaging for both models is the same, it's the standard Conrad collection model box and inside the model is wrapped in some cardboard backed foam rubber. As usual there's no instructions or information about either the model or the real machine but it's a very straightforward model, there's just the tipper trailer itself, uh, the tractor unit and there's a small bag of parts which are things just to fit to the tractor. <laughs> As with pretty much all Conrad tractor models, you have to fit the door mirrors and aerials and the first thing to do is just to cut the parts out with a, a sharp knife and then you can start the assembly. This is the Mercedes tractor and there are a couple of colour coded door mirrors to fit on each side and uh, there's already one door mirror actually fitted on the Mercedes models and then there's a small mirror to fit over the passenger side door. All the mirrors go in easily and when you've done that you then move on to the roof aerials and for some reason on the Mercedes models they're a little bit difficult to get in because the holes seem to be just that little bit too small whereas on the MAN models the aerials seem to fit a bit better or at least that's the case on these key bag models. So this is the Mercedes tractor fully assembled with the mirrors and aerials and the MAN tractor really is just the same and uh, it's obviously got a different look but fitting the parts is really just the same again and it's easy to do on both tractors. We'll start by looking at the Mercedes tractor and unusually the coloured door mirrors also have a texture applied. The rest of the detailing is pretty standard. Underneath the chassis is pretty good with only the steering mechanism being more functionally modelled rather than for accurate detail. The key bag livery is pretty good and there's a fleet number on the door and the coloured plastic wheel hubs have good detail. At the rear the plastic wheel arches have lights with lenses but there's no number plate. The MAN tractor has a similar level of detailing to the Mercedes with just some additional graphics on the visor being a standout difference. The chassis detailing is similar with just a different arrangement of components to suit the MAN truck. Moving to the tipper, the body seems to be quite an old casting, but it is finished well, with only the plastic top to the hydraulic ram seeming to be a little bit off colour. The chassis detail is a little bit basic, but interestingly the axle components are all metal. The landing leg arrangement is plastic, but with a good colour match, whereas the wheel chocks do look a little bit plastic in that bright orange colour. At the rear the lights are painted on, and again there's no number plate. In terms of features, the tractors are quite similar, but we'll start with the Mercedes unit. It rolls along pretty well and the rear axles have the usual amount of float that Conrad put into those axles. And the range of movement on the steering is very good and gives you a really hard lock so you can pose it uh, turning very tightly indeed. And of course on these models it's usual for the cab to tilt and that uh, is the case here. And when tilted it reveals the plastic engine. The MAN tractor really is very similar to the Mercedes, it rolls just as well. Things such as the axle movement and the steering are almost the same as on the Mercedes model. And see what a hard lock you can put on that steering. And again the cab does tilt forward and can stay tilted if you like. And once again there's a plastic engine underneath. Moving to the carrying end of things, the uh, tipper rolls along OK, but I'll say a little bit more about that later. Um, the axles have suspension movement, although it's not sprung suspension. If you want to show the trailer parked separate from the tractors, you've got these little fold-down feet on the landing legs, and they provide a secure base for holding the trailer steady. But the main feature, of course, is the tipping of the trailer body, and uh, that's a multi-stage cylinder which um, is very smooth and you can lift the body up goes to a, an angle of about 40 degrees which is probably a little bit less than the real trailer could do and there's an opening tailgate at the back so the last thing to do is to connect up the trailer and the tractor and uh, that's straightforward and easy to do it's just a push fit onto the fifth wheel and 
then you've got plenty of movement you can see that the uh, tractor turns completely under the trailer no problems with anything fouling however when you roll the model the front axle doesn't turn because the height's just not quite right um, it's not really a problem in the sense that it doesn't show when the model is posed in summary these are workmanlike trucks which look fine and they're solidly made but perhaps the detail level is somewhat less than you get on the best of models these days but if you want something in an unusual livery these are recommended. Mm -hmm.